Hello guys, welcome to my channel Civilology, the study of civil engineering. It is common knowledge that airports are catalysts for tourism growth and key to a country's national and international relations. Airports can be major employers as well as important hub for tourism and other kind of transit. They help retain and attract business to a community and thus provide job and economic prosperity for the area. Keeping in mind the utmost importance of airport, sites should be selected wisely. However, there are some factors which should be considered before site selection of airport. So in this video, 10 important factors will be discussed which greatly affect the site selection of airport. So before we start our today's topic, if you are new to my channel, you are requested to please subscribe it and don't forget to press the bell icon to get video updates. So let's start our today's topic. The first point which affect the site selection of airport is atmospheric and climatic conditions. The presence of fog, haze and smoke reduces the visibility and the poor visibility lowers the traffic capacity of aircraft. The fog has a tendency to settle into areas where there is little wind. The lack of wind is caused by the topographical features of the surrounding locality. In a similar way, smoke and haze are present at the sites near to the large industrial areas. So the areas where there are large industries and factories, that area should be avoided as much as possible. The second point which affects the site selection of airport is availability of land for expansion. The field of aviation is expanding day by day. Therefore, it is necessary to acquire land in advance for future expanding of the airport. As the volume of traffic increases, it will be necessary to lengthen the runways to provide additional support facilities and to expand the terminal facilities. The third point is availability of utilities. An airport, especially a large one, has to be provided with utilities like water, electric power, telephone and sewer etc. For electric power, most of the major airports provide their own generating plants to be used in emergencies in the event when a commercial source fails. The fourth point is development of surrounding area. The study of type of development of the surrounding area is very important because the airport activities, particularly from the standpoint of noise, are often quite objectionable to the neighbors of the airport. The proximity of airport site to the residential areas, schools and hospitals should be avoided whenever possible. Suitable zoning regulations should be imposed to control the use of the land adjacent to the airport so that conflicts in future are avoided. The fifth point is economy of construction. It is clear that if alternative sites are available and equally well suited, the site which is more economical to construct should be given preference. The sites having waterlogged areas or reclaimed lands are very costly to develop than those of natural ground. The uneven terrain requires much more grading than flat or even terrain. The availability of local construction materials may also have a significant impact on the cost of the project. The sixth point is presence of other airports. The airport should be located at a sufficient distance apart. This is necessary to prevent the aircrafts which are maneuvering for a landing at one airport from interfering with the movements of the aircrafts at other aircrafts. Soil characteristics. The airport site with the favorable soil characteristics is desirable because it reduces the cost of grading and drainage to a considerable extent. The area should as far as possible be self-drained. The sites having water tables may require costly subsoil drainage. An elevated site provides better drainage and visibility. 
Eighth point is accessibility. Airports are usually constructed 8 to 10 km away from densely populated areas. So there should be easy, fast track and approachable roads. Travel time from nearby population shall be 15 to 10 minutes. The ninth point is use of airport. The airport site is decided also by use of airport that is the purpose of airport either it is civil or military. In case of an emergency like war the civilian airports are taken over by military. It is therefore necessary to see that the airport site grants natural protection from possible air attacks during war. The Tenth point is very important for the site selection of airport is topography. The topographical features like ground contours, trees, streams, etc. should be avoided while selecting this site for an airport. A raised ground like hilltop is usually considered to be an ideal site for an airport because of the following facts. First one is it grants better visibility due to less fog. It permits easy natural drainage. The approach and turning zones are less obstructed. And the last point is that there is natural drainage. So these are the 10 most important points which should be kept in mind while selecting the site for an airport. That's all for today. In the end you are again requested if you are new to my channel please subscribe it and don't forget to press the bell icon to get video updates. That's all for today.